these are the iPhone settings you need to turn off right now because your iPhone could be leaking your personal data and hurting your privacy without you knowing. We are on the iPhone 17 Pro Max, but this will work on any iPhone running on iOS 26 or the latest iOS. Let's get started by opening up your iPhone settings, then tap on your profile from the top and we'll head straight to Find My first. Here, you can toggle share my location on or off, and if you have multiple devices, you can choose if you want this iPhone to be your location beacon. But what's important is making sure that you don't share your data with a lot of people, because if their data gets hacked, then your location will also be vulnerable. So only choose your most safest contact, and just share it when required. Now with this sorted out, you should also take a look at all the devices that you're logged in, in case you forgot to log out of a device that you no longer have. Now let's go back to the main page, scroll down, and open Privacy and Security. We'll go straight to Location Services. Here you can turn Location off altogether, but as this will also disable Find My, We'll go down and look at the permissions individually. Here you should look at the apps that always has your location access. For example, the Uber app. You don't actually need it to track your location all the time. So what you gotta do is select Ask Next Time or When I Share. Now it will only look up your location when absolutely needed. You can see down here, there's also the precise location option. And you should absolutely keep this option turned off unless you're gonna use it while you're outside. And you should do it for all the apps. And you can't miss the system services. Just open it up and you'll see a lot of location services are turned on. So now let's turn off the ones that are not necessary. For example, alerts and shortcut automations, which is used when you have location-based shortcuts. Then you have Apple Pay Merchant Identification, which you don't absolutely need, Cell Network Search, which is also just giving your data to Apple without any benefit. The compass calibration is used in maps and if you're using the compass app, so you can keep it turned on. Device management is also not needed, but what you should keep turned on is emergency calls and SOS and find my iPhone. Then you can turn off home accessories if you don't have any home devices, such as HomePod. You can also turn off in-app web browsing, Motion calibration and distance is used to track your workout data, such as running or step counting. So if you don't use them, you can turn them off. Networking and wireless is also not absolutely necessary, but you get a warning that Wi-Fi or Bluetooth may not work, so you can just leave it on. Then you have satellite connection, so you can turn it on if you're using that feature. Then we have setting time zone. It doesn't matter if you keep it on or off, because your iPhone has other means to update the time anyway. Share my location is tied to the Find My feature that we showed at first, so if you're using that, you'll have to keep it turned on for that to work. But what you should turn off is Suggestions and Search. When enabled, your iPhone will take your location data whenever you search something. Then there is System Customization, and its location data stays on the device, so you can keep it turned on. Another setting that you should absolutely turn off is Significant Locations and Routes. When enabled, iPhone will record which locations you stay the most and which roads or routes you take. So just turn it off. Then we have the product improvement cluster and you should turn all of them off. And lastly, you can scroll down and enable status bar icon so you'll know whenever your location is being used. Now that we're done here, let's go back from location and open tracking. Here you should turn off allow apps to request to track, then confirm it. Now the apps won't be able to track you across the web. Let's go back to privacy and security, and if you scroll down, you'll see all the built-in apps such as contacts, files and folders, and photos. You should go into each of them and make sure no unnecessary third-party apps has access to them. The important ones are files and folders, and obviously, photos. In here, make sure that no third-party app has full access to your gallery because they may leak it and you won't even realize it. You can just choose limited access and then you'll be able to manually select the photos or videos that you absolutely need. Now let's go back, scroll a bit down, and here you can see which devices has various permissions. Among these, 
The most sensitive permissions are camera and microphone. Just expand them and disable any permission that you're no longer using or you don't recall enabling. Now let's go back, scroll down until you come to analytics and improvement. Open it and turn off everything if you don't want to share any additional data with Apple. Then let's go to Apple Advertising and turn off personalized ads. Now you'll only see ads relevant to the app that you're using. And on the bottom part, you'll have wired accessories. Open it and make sure to select Always Ask. And this will ensure your iPhone doesn't get hacked whenever you plug your phone into a random place. Then we have Stolen Device Protection. You should keep it enabled. Then you can keep it to away from familiar locations. There you go. Now you have prevented apps from gaining access to your personal data and sharing unnecessary sensitive info. If you have any other tips, make sure to share them and stay safe.